Hey dudes, Crazy here, back into Marvel's Avengers, and today let's take a look at Miss Marvel's skills and abilities. Kamala Khan is definitely one of my favorite characters in the game. She's super powerful, and there are some really awesome combos you can pull off if you know what you're doing. In this video, I'd want to go over all of these, as well as a number of tips and tricks that you should know if you want to make the most out of her. So, as always, it would be super awesome if you left a like on this video to show your support, and let's jump right into it. By the way, I also also want to give a huge shout out to Instant Gaming once more, as you may or may not know, they've been a huge part of my channel for quite some time. They sell games at some of the cheapest prices you can find around, and you can use my discount link in the description box down below to get some really awesome cheap games off of their website, and it would also help the channel in the process, which would be really awesome. Now what you saw in the beta was only the primary skill page, and by the way, in the final game, you're going to be able to eventually unlock each and every single one of those skills in the primary skill page. But there's two additional pages on top by the way, so there's a second one with specialities that provides additional skill trees for each of your heroics, and in this case you will have to actually pick and choose which of the trees you're going to dedicate yourself to, because you cannot unlock all of them at the same time. But as I've said, there's also a third one with the masteries, this usually provides flat out stat increases, but there's also a few ones over there that might provide additional functionalities as well as new skills that you cannot find anywhere else. With that being said and done, let's talk about her basic attacks and then talk about the more complicated stuff. So her light attack is called the Fly Swatter, it's basically 6 consecutive attacks that you perform that will deal increasingly higher damage as you progress in the combo chain. The disadvantage over here is the fact that it doesn't have any interrupts, neither does it have a combo finisher on the last attack like how many other attacks from other heroes will have. So I guess that increasingly higher damage per hit is the trade-off over there. Um, the heavy attack is called the Five Finger Fury. It's also one of the shortest, you perform only three consecutive attacks, but the last one is also a heavy combo finisher that also sends enemies flying. And by the way, also pay attention to these terminologies, like for example combo finishers, power attacks and whatnot. You have to pay attention to these because there are certain perks on gear in the game that will only affect these types of attacks. But let's talk about those starting upgrades. As I've said, eventually you're going to get all of these in the primary skill tree, but in the early stages you will want to still focus on some of them that are more important than others right off the get-go. So let's begin with some of the guard breaks in the game. Very useful abilities, especially early on, since you will soon enough encounter enemies with shields, and if you don't get these, you won't have abilities to break down their shields. There's two types of categories you can choose from over here. The first one is the one with the whirlwind wallop and the double down kick. Basically these are both upgrades to your light attacks and you only have to hold down the light attack button to perform these. If you're in the air or if you're on the ground, Kamala is going to perform either the one or the other. And the cool thing about these two is that you can continuously and endlessly chain them up together unless you get stunned or pushed back. And there's also a third ability that you can chain chain with these, but I'm going to explain that when I'm going to cover that ability. The second one is called the Double Barrel Punch, which is basically an upgrade to your heavy attacks this time. Just like how the name implies, you form two oversized fists and you just punch them into the enemy. The range on this one is way bigger than the previous two, it does take a little bit longer to charge up, but it also deals way more damage and it's much better at pushing back enemies. And not just that, you can immediately upgrade this with a catapult kick, which by the way, I highly encourage you to do so really early on, because this lets you to immediately follow up with a really powerful kick that's going to send enemies flying, and it will also deal really really high damage. Now in the early stages you can pick off either of these, if you want to have like a really interesting cool attack, you can definitely go with the second combo, especially with the catapult kick, which is really awesome as you can see, but if I were to go for usefulness alone, early on I would invest one of those points into the whirling wallop because this has its animation tied in with the next attack that I'm going to cover right now. You saw me pulling this off very often, it's also one of the best abilities Kamala has in the game and that is that hammer fist plus fists of justice combo that you see me pulling off all the time. So this unlocks around the level 3 which means that you should have one point for whirling wallop and then immediately jump in with a hammer fist and fists of justice. 
this and what this does is basically if you're in mid air you can hold down that heavy attack button to perform a hammer fist and if you also have the fist of justice upgrade if you follow up with subsequent taps of the same heavy attack button the character will perform additional fists of justice that will perform increasingly higher stun damage with each subsequent attack so basically this is the combo you can pull off you can start from the ground by holding down the light attack button to perform that whirlwind wallop upwards when you're in the air already start with the heavy attack button to form a hammer fist and then continue with the fist of justice to perform this combo continuously furthermore also follow up with an iron spike upgrade since this is an amazing finisher to all of the combo that you just pulled so basically this has a number of advantages it basically lets you auto track an enemy once you perform it in the last chain of the sequence and this includes both enemies on the ground as well as the ones in the air assuming that they aren't too far away second of all it also acts as a heavy combo finisher which means that it also benefits from perks that might give buffs to combo finishers so for example something that might provide a damage buff a particle damage onto the target a defense buff or maybe some healing or some heroic boost the next skill tree which i'm going to cover quickly is all about her grabs personally i didn't like the grab gameplay with kamala it personally wasn't something that i was fond of it kind of makes you a bit too slow because you have to control the target maybe slam it into the ground maybe squeeze the life out of it and personally i found hulk's grabs way better than kamala's which is why it also gave me the perfect opportunity to instead focus on the last tree which is all about the polymorph now polymorph is an ability that you should pay special attention to because it's basically your on-demand buff that you can use at any time it kind of behaves like hulk's rage and in fact there are very few characters in the game that have this sort of ability other characters don't have it or have something different with the entrancing power capabilities so this uses the same button as the parry button if you lightly tap the parry button as an enemy is about to attack you then kamala will perform a parry otherwise if you press and hold down the button then this will put you in that polymorph state where she slightly increases her size but also her damage now as i've said this will drain your intrinsic power if you don't know what intrinsic energy is it's basically that bar beneath your willpower bar basically beneath your hp bar over here it's colored with the color yellow but for other characters it's going to have a different color specific to each character basically you fill this up over time naturally but it also fills up quicker from killing enemies performing takedowns and sometimes even dodging or parrying at the right time now most of these abilities are upgrades to your parries to your regeneration of the intrinsic power but there's two of them in there that are actually active and are also really amazing you get to unlock these around level 10 so definitely have something ready for then especially for this first upgrade right here called the whirlwind so basically this is an attack that you also saw me quite often where you kind of spin around and continuously deal damage is not that high but it deals high stun damage to the enemy which makes their defenses break much faster so the way you use this is basically you activate your polymorph and then hold down the light attack button to continuously perform the whirlwind for as long as you have intrinsic power by the way you can extend that for even longer by having the no surrender upgrade at the bottom that reduces the cost of it by 60 percent and by the way there's also other perks that will further reduce that by even up to 50 percent but they will reduce some of the damage uh, so this is like one of the best abilities you can get in the game and if you're like in the ambigan ultimate you can also use this automatically because you are already sort of in the polymorph state in an advanced form of the polymorph which is that ambiguous but on a final note let's also talk about the most important abilities in the game that kamala has which are her heroic abilities so each character in the game has three heroics one support one assault and one ultimate um, unfortunately there is no additional ones in the game as of yet but there are some upgrades in the additional skill trees that will eventually provide different functionalities we'll talk about that once the game comes out but let's also go over her first support heroic which is the healing spirit this fully restores kamala's willpower so basically her hp and it also provides some restoration for the other teammates as well so it's basically a really awesome full party-wide heal that affects kamala the most since she gets a full hp bar back but it's also useful for other characters to keep them alive and this is what makes kamala such an amazing character is because of this 
support for the entire team that uh, will definitely be very useful in the end game where you might want some of these cheat death kind of mechanics to keep you alive for a bit longer. The assault heroic is called the high five, it's basically a giant palm slap that also sends out a powerful shockwave and throws back enemies with some really high damage. And by the way, the shockwave happens as you activate the ability and after you have formed the fist, you're going to follow up with the palm slam into the enemy. Uh, but by the way, you can hold this down for way longer and you can stay in that ability for like a couple of seconds, which is also going to provide you immunity to any incoming damage and stuns. So it could be very useful if you use this at the right time to kind of assess the situation and then follow up with the assault itself. The ultimate is of course her embiggen. I would also say that this is by far the best ultimate that we had in the beta and this does a couple of things. First of all, just like the polymorph, this increases Kamala's size, but in this case it makes you way bigger, but it also increases your damage capabilities way faster and you also regen some of that willpower with each attack. So it is going to be really awesome in the end game to see really high damage numbers, especially with the third and the fourth attack in the auto attack combo chain with the Embiggen ultimate active. It was definitely one of the highest abilities in the game that performed the highest amount of damage and all of your attacks with it are going to be, well, basically AoE. But this is it for now with Kamala Khan's ultimate abilities as well as some of the best primary skills that you can invest into. Of course, many more are there in the game that we're gonna cover really soon and as I've said, eventually you will want to focus on the others too. But for now, these were the ones that were the best in the early stages of the game. So let me know down below what was your preferred playstyle with Kamala, if there's any other types of combos that you were pulling off, definitely let me know in the comment section down below. In the meantime, if you enjoyed this video, as always, also don't forget to subscribe and activate the notification bell and I'll see you guys in the next one.